toujours dans le cadre du partenariat entre Orange et Amazon, Amazon Web Services. C'est avec grand plaisir que je reçois avec moi sur le plateau Amir Rao, Director of Telco Product Management at AWS. Welcome, Mr. Amir. Thank you very much for having me. It's a, such a pleasure to be receiving you here in our studio. Before jumping to the questions about your partnership with Orange, I, wa I would like to ask you a question about your feedback uh, concerning the second edition of Jitex. We just talked earlier, you told me that this is actually your first time here in Jitex. What makes actually these kind of events such an important event for you and for your field? Well, I think uh, for me, the takeaway has been the, the governmental sponsorship, not only from the government in Morocco, but I could see a lot of government delegates from across the Africa, which is actually the right signal for the market, um, for the overall economy in Africa, for the people of Africa to understand that their governments are concerned about bringing a sort of a digital transformation into the lives integrating technology to their daily lives, whether it's mobile payments, whether it's just giving, getting civic amenities, getting their applications, uh, services, like utilities faster. So that's a huge takeaway. The other thing that I've noticed is just the amount of young people at Jidex, which is, is great for energy, but it's, it's also great kudos to the, to the, to the youth of Morocco, uh, specifically here in, 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 uh, in Marrakesh, uh, that it, you, you have a thriving uh, developer ecosystem, a thriving startup ecosystem. Uh, so a lot of good signals for hopefully a, a very bright future. We're going to talk about Morocco Youth in another question, but before that, I want to ask you about your partnership with Orange. How are you actually working together to deploy wave land zones in Morocco, but also in Senegal? Yeah, so um, as we announced earlier in the day, we are bringing fundamentally AWS compute and networking services locally to Morocco and Senegal. Mm -hmm. And a AWS wavelength zones are, happens to be the means to, for us to do that. It basically means that we will deploy multi-tenant AWS infrastructure, cloud infrastructure services, and that's too much technical detail, so without going into that, it will allow you the end customers uh, whether it is Orange themselves or other customers, uh, whether in Morocco or in Senegal, uh, to be able to access AWS compute services, which is, think of it, what is cloud? Cloud is essentially virtualized compute, getting everywhere and then building services on top of them. So AWS has the most broadest cloud set of cloud services, more than 200 services that are being made available. Historically, they've been made available through our regional infrastructure, uh, which, for example, in Africa is available through Cape Town, and there's plenty available in Europe. For the first time, we are now bringing the same set of services uh, using AWS Wavelength Zones to Morocco and Senegal. What it means is that end customers can build applications locally, store their data locally, have local data processing, can be cannot be worried about some of the governmental or regulatory requirements, especially if you are coming from a regulated industry. So that's a lot of benefit. We hope that this will further accelerate uh, the developer ecosystem, the startup ecosystem in these developing economies. And besides Morocco and Senegal, are there any other countries in Africa that you are trying to maybe expand your activities we, in these uh, countries? Uh, I would not want to speculate in terms of our future plans, but Africa is important, um, and we are very committed in terms of bridging the digital divide. We see there is plenty of opportunity, so hopefully we will continue to work uh, and serving customers in Africa, across Africa, whether it happens to be South Africa, now with Morocco and Senegal, uh, and maybe uh, more in future. But I, at, at this point in time, I would not want to speculate in terms of our growth plans. That's certainly, this, these are good news for customers and customers from Africa. And talking about them, what type of customers and use care will benefit from local IWS services? Well, I think, like if, for example, if you're a bank or if you are a startup and you want to develop a, a mobile money application, uh, so forget the bank, 
forget you are just a startup, you are a young graduate, out of university, out of college, you want to build an application which has to meet some of the regulatory requirements that the data of the customer, or the end customers has to be stored locally, has to be processed locally. So AWS Wavelet Zone is going to give them not only the compute, but also the ability to build uh, their applications, store and process their applications locally. So that the, 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 that developer, that fresh graduate from college would not have to go and get AWS services through London or France or, or Dublin region. They can actually use AWS Wavelet Zone in Morocco to actually meet all of the regulatory requirements and that will actually bring, be, allow them to bring their services faster to the market. Now that's one end of the spectrum. The other end of the spectrum is if you're a bank and you want to use the, the applications locally, you want to store the, the data locally, you want to process the applications locally. Another example if, is if you are a public sector enterprise and you're a governmental agency and you want to benefit from cloud but you've got some limitations to actually expose the data outside of the borders of Morocco or Senegal for that matter. And I think in these use cases, it will be tremendously beneficial for the, for the customers across uh, the, the broadest, whether you're a public sector customer, you are a, a commercial enterprise, or you're a star, or, and on all fields. That's, that's impressive. So Amazon uh, Web Services offers a wide range of services. We're talking about data analysis, we're talking about AI, among others. How will Moroccan companies benefit from these services? See, AWS provides a complete cloud continuum. You can access, the end customer can actually access the services in the region access the services uh, through wavelength zones. So essentially this will allow them to benefit and build parts of the applications which require local data processing using wavelength zones. And for the other parts of the application where they're just using insights or analytics or, 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 or generative AI, which is, uh, which is the most talked about technological phenomena that we are all experiencing today, so they can leverage all of those capabilities through AWS regions. Um, and that is how the end customer, our, our job is to empower the end customer's choice and give them the ability and flexibility to choose the, app, the type of services that are most suited to build their applications and to meet their, their end customer's needs or their business objectives. And we believe in partnership with, Morocco, with Orange in Morocco and Senegal by bringing AWS Wavelength Zone, which is bringing AWS Compute and Networking Services locally through Orange data centers in conjunction with all of our global footprint and the, and the richness of the services that you talked about will give end customers immense choice. Last question, Mr. Amir. What are the initiatives as AWS proposed to train the teams of Moroccan companies in the use of these technologies? So, first and foremost, I think in, in Orange we have a fantastic partner and I'm not just saying this because the special thing that they've done here is essentially Orange is not only going to be a partner to provide data center to actually run the Wavelength Zone services, but also they are using, they will be an anchor tenant. What it means is that they will build applications, their own internal application on AWS Wavelength Zone. What it means is that they will actually be able to, to, act, to build the capacity and the capability in terms of their own technical staff. They'll be able to attract the right talent from the youth in Morocco, or for that matter, in Senegal, to actually help them do their internal transformation. In the process, we are also working with, with Orange in Morocco and Senegal on some of our wider programs and mechanisms, which is train the trainers, we are going to be investing in solution architecture training, we will be investing in, uh, in the ISV and the immersion days with, to involve people and, and to make technology accessible. So between us and Orange, who is going to be the lead uh, go-to-market partner for this particular uh, partnership, we will be doing a lot uh, to bring the power of AWS services to an ordinary customer. Thank you so much for honoring our invitation. Thank you so much for these very, very interesting details. Chers téléspectateurs, Media 24, notre couverture se poursuit. Restez donc à l'écoute.